Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Claudia here. In today's video, I want to take you guys along to do a batch because since uh, I posted my last video about Instacart. I've been getting so many DMs about Instacart, obviously. But the main thing that people keep bringing up is how nerve-wracking the first batch can be. So, so many people want to do it, but the first batch is what's stopping them from doing it. So today, I just want to take you guys along with me. So you can see that it's super easy. It's nothing to be scare or nervous about when i did my first batch i was pretty nervous so i get it but it's super simple it's like shopping for yourself so i want to take you guys along today and show you how easy it is i also want to give you some tips and tricks that i do while i shop that i didn't mention in my last video so you guys can complete batches as quick and efficiently as possible i'm actually so excited to show you guys because i feel like there's so many little things that i can tell you that will help you a lot so yeah let's just get started grab a batch and start shopping <laughs> okay so i usually like to bring my insulated bag because if there's frozen things, you want to keep that frozen. Oh my god. This is not my first time filming this. Also not my second or my third. This is my fourth time trying to film this. And oh my god, I don't know why I haven't given up yet. I just really want you guys to see this. So we're going to go for the fourth time. Hopefully... This will be the last, <laughs> but I don't want to bore you with all my problems. So let's just get started and grab a badge. Okay, so right now I'm kind of looking for something that won't be too difficult just because I don't want this video to be seven hours long. But I also don't want something too easy because I want to show you some tips that a short batch wouldn't give you. So I'm kind of trying to find something in between there. Oh, I think I want to grab something with two orders. So that you guys can see what that looks like. It's basically the same, but I still want to show it to you guys. So let's see what we can get here. Okay, this one actually looks pretty good. So and it's pretty good money. So I'm going to take it. And as soon as I take it, I usually like to go through the list. So I can kind of start planning my route inside the store. I'm kind of just going to scan through it. Okay, it looks pretty simple. So let's just drive to the store. So usually I don't press start shopping until I'm already inside the store and like ready to go because that's when the timer starts and you want to be as quick as possible because if Instacart thinks that you're slow then they're not going to give you as many batches so make sure you start when you're like ready to start. So I'm going to press start shopping. I'm not at the right location like the one they suggested me to be at but I obviously did this on purpose so I'm just going to say shop here anyway. And I first like to message my customers right now. I have two. Oh, she's already messaging me. Hi, I forgot to ask for mozzarella sticks. I'm gonna say hello. Okay, no problem. I'll add that for you. And now I'm gonna message my second customer. I just like to message them as soon as I start because I want to start that conversation. I want them to know that I'm here for them. And then once I message them, I like to go through the whole list just to see what I need to grab pretty quickly and kind of like plan my route inside the store. Like I know I have to go to the deli, I have to grab some veggies, okay, crackers, soda, cheese, frozen, okay, this is pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to start grabbing things. <laughs> Always, I know this is pretty obvious, but always check that your produce, especially, it's super fresh. Because you don't want it to go rotten within like a day. Oh my god, I feel like my mic is not good here. Usually when I have a lot of produce, I like to just grab what I need to grab and then weigh everything all together. Because you don't want to be running back and forth to the scale. Okay, so I need four bananas. This looks pretty good. Nope, never mind. Grabbing produce, not gonna lie, it's the most annoying thing. We just have to check the weight and then I have to make sure that everything looks good. But we're good so far. Okay, so now I need to grab, oh, I have to follow the arrows, yay. Love COVID. Let's get in. 
fish. I didn't even mark it. So celery, I found it. That one's good to be. So the way I like to separate my cards is, you know how cards have two levels? So usually I like to put the smaller one on the top, obviously. If you have cards that only have one level, just like mentally try to separate the two orders. But if you don't feel confident yet doing that, uh, just grab something that will separate it physically. Like maybe the insulator bag that you have to bring with you. Maybe use that to separate the two things. Okay, so I have to grab a cucumber, an organic cucumber. So yes, it's right here. That's also for beef. For this right here, good thing I went through the whole list because uh, I know that I need time, but it's not with the produce. So I go down and see, it says that it's in the pantry section, which is not. So good thing I went through the whole thing because then I would have to come back and waste time. But I know it's right here. So now I'm gonna wait the bananas. And they're supposed to be 800 and it's exactly 800 grams. So four. Usually Instacart is pretty good with a suggested weight, so. So you can trust them, but you should still uh, weight them anyways because you just want to make sure. Now I need cheese sticks. I know they're over here. Okay, so it's about 3.10. I'm gonna check the dates. Make sure I grab the freshest one. This should be it. Of course, it's not gonna scan, but I know it's the right item. So I'm gonna say skip scanning. Item is correct. Take a picture of it. Use picture. That one's also for B. Now, I know I have to go to the deli and that's right here. So I'm gonna grab everything that I need from the deli first. What is this? Plant-based cucumber. Still cashew. Is it this thing? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Okay, so they do have a Oh, I see it. I finally found it. It's back here, so good thing I don't have to use the replacement. And yes. So I know I need this. Oh, is that not the right one? Yes, it is. Maybe not. Uh, why? Okay, so it's not here, so I'm gonna say, can find, take a picture. No worries. Just send them this. Instacart already writes the whole message for you, which is super convenient. Uh, now I need ricotta. Where is it? Should be this thing. Finally, we have something for A. And now we need this other one. I think I just saw it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Aha, uh -huh, fed up. I also want to check the expiry date because uh, sometimes cheese is kind of, I don't know, you can't trust it. Let's see what she said. No, you can refund. Thank you, actually. You can get the shell and cheese. Thank you. I freaking love it when customers are right there, ready to reply to me because it's so annoying when they're not. Uh, what? Aha. Uh -huh. The that's before July. Okay, we're good. That's for B. This other one. Also for B. That's before. Okay, July. Now let's go to uh, the pantry. Okay, I do, I am gonna have to come back for this chicken, for this barbecue chicken, just because uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to shop for the rest of the stuff, so I don't want the chicken 
to get all nasty. I guide myself a lot with this thing. Oh, not focused. I guide myself a lot with this thing because sometimes I don't remember where everything is. And they're really helpful, so. And a lot of things look different from the little picture that Instagram gives you. So this one doesn't look too different, but it did look a bit different. So I need two. These are for 80. Since they only have macaroni, I'm gonna ask them if they want this instead, which is still gluten free. It's not the same brand they want, but at least they will get the same thing, same type of pasta. No, it has to be gluten free. Usually if people don't want something, they'll just see the change and tell me right away unless they're not online. So that might be a problem, but I'm just going to, I'm giving them a good replacement. So it should be good. I know I need this. Where is it? I think it should be this thing. Yes. For B. And sometimes if you're not really paying attention before you scan the thing, uh, at the end it tells you at the bottom, uh, like after you scan it, it tells you which group it goes to. So you can quickly see it. Or you can also go to done. And they're right there. I need two of these. That's for B. I know I need this. Where is it? What's that green stuff? I don't know. I'm gonna try to scan it and see if it is. Aha, uh -huh, it is. These are for A. Oh, oh my god, I need this. <laughs> I'm standing right in front of it. Okay, let's see what I need. I need ginger and garlic. Ginger, how little? One. 20 grams, 120 grams, so it should be this one. Yes. Oh my god, I see it. Ugh. This one being told comes in handy. Yes. <laughs> okay, this for B. Okay, the tray, I'm gonna look for it later. Okay, oh my god, we're almost done. This is actually a pretty good batch. Let's not jinx it yet, but everything's recording. Everything's working great, oh my god. <laughs> no, did I just jinx myself? Where's the eggs? Oh my god, yay. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh god, I got it. The eggs, obviously, always check them, make sure they're not cracked or anything. They look good. Expire day, also good. And now we skin it, and we're good. Now we need to grab Philadelphia. How big is this? 227. I like to check the quantity a lot because it helps me figure out how big the containers or the boxes are. And I'm not wasting time scanning a bunch of things that I don't need to scan. <laughs> what is this thin? Mozzarella. Mozzarella, where is it? Oh my god, please tell me it's here. <gasps> yes. And this is why you bring your insulator bag, because now we have to put it in there. Okay, so now we need spinach. Uh -huh. I 
I probably should have grabbed that with the mozzarella one. I get the same time, but I just didn't think of it. Can I need this thing? I don't know. Veggie tots? <gasps> yes. Oh my god. Okay, wait, what are these for? B, okay. Insulator bag. Oh, she also said that she forgot to add mozzarella. Now I need to know if she wanted fresh mozzarella. She said shredded mozzarella. So I'm guessing it's one of these packages. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her some options by taking the picture. What brand would you like? And I also had smiley faces because, you know, it lightens the mood. So while she replies, I'm gonna grab the blocks. Okay, I also need this. Oh gosh, I kinda lost track. Is Earl the cheese for the same person? Yes, they are. Okay, good. Back to the insulator bag. Okay, so the gluten-free pancakes. Those are gonna be pretty close to the chicken. So I'll grab that last. And now we need some bubbly. And this is for B, so I like to put it under its section so it would be on that side. Now we just have to grab the last three things and we're done. Okay, so now we only have two things left. So I'm gonna go grab the chicken now. And I wanna make sure I grab the biggest and juiciest little thing. Uh, I think this one looks good. Okay, so we have the chicken. Oh, it actually scans. Sometimes it doesn't scan. So I have to overwrite it and just say item is correct and take a picture of it like we did before. Now I'm just looking for the tray. And that's a, yeah, an item. It's like super, super, super easy. Just press add new item and that's it. Scan it. And that's it. Okay, so we're finally done. Now I'm just waiting at the checkout line. And even though it took me a little bit longer because I'm filming, it's still, it was still under my goal. It took me 48 minutes. And Instacart thought that it was gonna take me 56, so that's how much time they were giving me to shop. If you go over it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't change anything. That's just like your goal, but you don't have to meet it. If you go over it, it's fine. So now we're gonna press review items. Now what is it? Review changes? So you just press go to the next step, go to the next step. And now I always like to check that I have everything in the right section. Like I divided, like I said before, I divided the car into two. I just wanna make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be and everything's in the right groups. Okay, so I have cheese, this too. Mainly because now the checkout lines are like 50 minutes long. You have time to do that while you wait. Okay, so this, eggs, cookies, where are they? Oh. Okay, so we have everything for this one. Now we're going to review the items for B. Okay, so we're good. Oh my god, my bangs are driving me insane. Stay. And now we can also check where we're going. So you go to the information icon and you can press on their address and open your maps. Yeah, 
I just like to know where I'm going before I start driving. Okay, nice. Oh yeah, one thing that I forgot to say is that with Instacart, you can't skip the line when you're checking out, but you can skip the line when you're coming in. Uh, so all you have to do is just go straight to the door and talk to someone, like usually there's someone there. Uh, just tell them that you're doing Instacart and they'll let you in because you're not shopping for yourself, you're shopping for someone else and, you, and Instacart wants those times to be as low as possible, like you gotta be quick, so they just let you in. I know that in Canada, Costco, Superstore, um, I'm not sure about Walmart, but I know Costco and Superstore, they let you in, like skip the line. Uh, people usually <laughs> look at you weird and they get mad at you, like the people are standing in line, but whatever, you're saving time, so yeah, if you didn't know, you can skip the line. No, it's okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. My guy, of course, it's now and now. Okay, so when you're putting stuff in your car, I would recommend, obviously, you put in anything that's like waters, pops, and stuff first. And then you're gonna have to separate it by category, not category, by groups, so A and B. If you have something warm, do not put it close to the cold stuff. Obviously, I feel like I'm saying things that make sense, but I also feel the need to say it just in case someone doesn't know, you know? Okay, so it's actually like freezing, so I'm not going to need the insulator bag inside the trunk. So I'm going to use it to separate things. See, so now I know that this is A and this is B. To be honest, usually I don't need something to separate it. I'm already used to it, so I just mentally separate it. But if you need to do that, definitely do it. Do whatever it's... Whatever feels best for you. Okay, I'll be right back. Ah, it's alcohol, let's go. Okay, so now that I'm in the car, I can add how many bags they charge me for. Um, so it's three for the first one and six for the other one. All right. And I usually keep all the receipts in a little bag in my car. Just because you never know if a customer is going to start a dispute saying that you didn't deliver their food or whatever. Like, you never know. So, I usually keep them as proof. I don't know if you have to, uh, but I usually do it just in case. Oh, yeah. Also, because you have to remember to not put the receipts in the bag because Instacart literally tells you not to do it. So, don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's go deliver this food. All right, so I really hope I helped you get the courage to do your first batch. If I did inspire you to start doing Instacart, make sure you use my referral code, which I'm gonna leave right over here. You obviously don't have to use it, but I would really appreciate it if you did. And thank you to all of you that have used it so far. I love you all so much. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you learned something new from this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Also, follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.